The iPhone 15 Pro Max is officially launching in September, and today we've got the reveal of the design, the specs, and the pricing. So first up, we've got confirmation that Samsung displays have been given approval to produce the displays, and they've already started mass production. Now, all four models of the iPhone 15 series are going to feature the Dynamic Island this time around, and we've even got more improvements to the Pro models. Now, Ice Universe confirmed that the bezel has been shrunk down to just 1.5mm thanks to Apple's LiPo technology, and on top of that, we're also going to get a better and brighter display. While its predecessor had a peak brightness of an impressive 2000 nits, it's reported that the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max are going to see up to 2200 nits of peak brightness. Also, a great way to protect your display is by using today's video sponsor, the CaseCoo CloudCush case. The new CloudCush cases provide air cushion technology that not only looks great and provides a nice solid grip, but it also protects your phone with a 3 meter military grade drop resistant thanks to its 360 degree air cushion. I like its silky smooth design that feels great to hold in your hand, and it also comes in a range of different colors from black and beige all the way over to green and pink. They're currently running a promotion for July, and all you've got to do is post on social media a way that you personally relieve stress and then tag at CaseQ in the post, and you could win yourself a free iPad. Now, links are down in the description, so go ahead and check it out. Now, back to the iPhone 15. We've got great news that the Pro models are going to be getting a big upgrade in materials, and according to Leaker Unknowns21, the iPhone 15 Pro models are going to be using a Grade 5 titanium for the frame, and he's received sufficient evidence to confirm this and provided this image here. And I've created these renders here to show you exactly what a brushed titanium could look like in the new blue color variant. Now, reports state that the iPhone 15 Pro models are going to have a dark blue and a crimson red color, and then the iPhone 15 and the Plus models are going to have a new green color. As well as trim down bezels, we also get a change to the design of the Pro models, and they feature flat edges like the predecessor, but they've also got more curvature to make it more comfortable to hold in the hand. Now, as well as that, the alert slider has been completely removed in favor of a new customizable action button. And thanks to code discovered in iOS 17, we know exactly what this is going to offer. Now, you can use it to quickly access voice memos, translations, magnifier, focus mode, flash mode, camera, and silent modes. And we've even got the ability to access shortcuts. And this means that you can pretty much make the button do anything you want. It's not restricted to one action either, and you'll be able to select an action for a single press, a double press, or even a long hold. Now, in the camera department, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the first iPhone to feature a periscope camera, allowing for much better zoom capabilities with a new 6x optical zoom. While we also have improvements to the camera software, the rest of the cameras remain pretty much the same, apart from improvements to the LiDAR scanner. Now, of course, it's powered by the new A17 Bionic for the Pro models, while the non-Pro models are going to get last year's A16. And we're also getting a bump in memory, with the iPhone 15 Pro models having 8GB of DDR5 RAM. Now, all models are going to be ditching the Lightning ports in favor of USB Type-C, and we also get an upgrade to Wi-Fi 6E, as well as the ultra-wideband chip to improve AirDrop. While we originally expected the iPhone 15 series to launch in October, we now have news that there's an Apple event on the 13th of September, and this is going to showcase the iPhone 15 models along with the Apple Watch Series 9, so it's not long until we get the official information from Apple themselves. Now, one thing we already know, however, is there is going to be a price hike among the iPhone 15 series, and reports have suggested that due to increased component costs, we could see them rise as much as $200, and this means that the iPhone 15 Pro Max could start from $1,299. So we pretty much know everything there is to know about the iPhone 15 Pro Max way ahead of its launch. But of course, if anything else does come in, I'll be sharing it straight away. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.